Hello children, welcome back to our part 2 video of today's assignment that is in English language, our chapter number 3 kinds of sentences. So children, I hope you all have watched my part 1 video in which I have explained you the 4 uh, kinds of sentences which were given in your books. First one was assertive sentence, second one was interrogative sentences, third one was imperative and the last fourth one was exclamatory sentences so children i hope you all have understood all the four kinds of sentences very clearly now in this uh, video part two video what we are going to do is that we are going to start with our uh, notebook exercise as we have written two kinds of sentences yesterday which i explained to you yesterday now today i am going to give you other two kinds of sentences introduction part to write today which i explained to you so for that children, you have to take out your English language notebook and turn to a fresh new page where you will start writing. But before writing children, I would like to ask you all that uh, yesterday I have given you to write chapter number 3 kinds of sentences. Part 1 was to write the names of 4 kinds of sentences on the first page. There are four kinds of sentences, assertive sentence, number two interrogative sentence, number three imperative sentence and number four exclamatory sentence. So I hope you all have written this on a new page and then from a new, again from a new page you have started writing the uh, introduction part of all the kinds of sentences. So first one was assertive sentence, point number one was assertive sentence expresses a statement to tell a fact. It always ends with a full stop. And in the next line, you must have written for example, number one, or uh, you will uh, make this arrow. Miss Kavita is a doctor, full stop. And then next example, my father is a businessman, full stop. Is that clear? And then next part which I gave you was of interrogative sentence. Then first part of interrogative sentence, ask a question about something or someone second part it always ends with a question mark as you can see here for example what are you doing and number two do you like fruits and all these sentences both the sentences are ending with a uh, question mark is that clear so by this question mark we can make out that the sentence is interrogative sentence now moving towards our new page what you will do, you will write down today's date that is 6-5-2021 and in the first line you will give the heading of chapter number with its name that is chapter number 3 kinds of sentences. Is that clear? Now in the second line you will start writing with the third kind of sentence that is imperative sentence. Listen to my pronunciation very carefully children. This word is known as imperative sentence sentence i m p e r a t i v e imperative sentence now what is an imperative sentence children what you will write here imperative sentence expresses an order or a request whenever we uh, give order to someone or whenever we request to someone then those type of sentences are known as imperative sentences always remember it always ends with a full stop. Always remember children, imperative sentences as well as assertive sentences, both kind of sentences ends, ends with, an, uh, with a full stop. So, if you are reading a sentence, okay, if you have to identify that which kind of sentence it is. So, when you will read the sentence, from the sentence only itself you can... Uh, make out itself you can uh, make out that if the sentence is assertive or imperative if the sentence is uh, telling you some kind of fact which cannot be changed then it is an assertive sentence and if the sentence is trying to give an order or a request to someone then it is an imperative sentence is that clear to you all now moving uh, towards the next that is for example, open the door, do your homework. Open the door, full stop. That means you are giving an order to someone, to the uh, second person to open the 
डोर यू आर गिविंग एन ऑर्डर ओपन द डोर डू योर होमवर्क अगेन यू आर गिविंग एन ऑर्डर टू सम वन दैट दैट पर्सन शुड डू हिज होमवर्क हिज और हर होमवर्क सो डू योर होमवर्क इज इट क्लियर एंडिंग विथ फुल स्टॉप नाउ नेक्स्ट पेज वन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वन काइंड ऑफ सेंटेंस शुड बी ऑन वन पेज ओनली टर्न द पेज फॉर द लास्ट वन लास्ट काइंड ऑफ सेंटेंस दैट इज एक्सक्लमेटरी सेंटेंस नाउ चिल्ड्रन लिसन टू द प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ दिस वर्ड दैट इज एक्सक्लमेटरी एक्सक्लमेटरी सेंटेंस ई एक्स सी एल ए एम ए टी ओ आर वाई एक्सक्लमेटरी नाउ वॉट इज एक्सक्लमेटरी सेंटेंस वॉट यू विल राइट हियर फर्स्ट पॉइंट एक्सक्लमेटरी सेंटेंस एक्सप्रेस इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फीलिंग वेन यू हैव अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फीलिंग फॉर समबडी and if you will express that feeling then that is known as exclamatory sentence it always remember children that it always ends with an exclamation mark like this is that clear so now you, what you will do you will write down for example in the next line new line you will write down the heading of for example and the first example is how beautiful the girl is now here you are uh, telling about the girl That how is she beautiful? वो इतनी सुंदर है. So how beautiful the girl is, and the sentence will be ended with an exclamation mark. Is that clear? Coming to the second question, what a naughty boy! कितना शैतान लड़का है. So here again you have a feeling, strong feeling for the boy that he is very naughty. So what a naughty boy! And in the end you will put an exclamation mark. so children i hope you all have understood these two uh, topics clearly now once again i'm going to uh, tell you that how you will be writing this exercise in your notebooks yesterday we have completed till interrogative sentences now today we have started with our new uh, kind of sentences which were left yesterday imperative and exclamatory so for writing that you have to write down today's date that is 6521 and again in the first line you will give the heading of the chapter name with its number and then you will write the heading of the kind of sentence which was left that is imperative sentence now what are imperative sentences children which the sentences which express an uh, order or a request if you are giving an order or you are asking for a request then those sentences are known as imperative sentences and always remember that these imperative sentences end with a full stop clear to you all now for example open the door full stop do you do your homework again a full stop is it clear now the last one exclamatory sentence what is an exclamatory sentence children uh, sentences which एक्सप्रेस अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फीलिंग जो सेंटेंसेस बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग फीलिंग को एक्सप्रेस करते हैं दोज आर नोन एज एक्सक्लोमेट्री सेंटेंस एंड रिमेंबर दैट ऑलवेज एक्सक्लोमेट्री सेंटेंसेस विल एंड विद एन एक्सक्लमेशन मार्क इज दट क्लियर लाइक दिस सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर टू एग्जाम्पल्स गिवेन हाउ ब्यूटिफुल द गर्ल इज एक्सक्लमेशन मार्क वॉट आर नॉट ई बॉय एक्सक्लमेशन इज दट क्लियर सो आई होप this topic is clear to you all and you all have seen that how you will write in your notebooks now i will click pictures of these pages and i will attach in your assignment so that it will be easy for you to write nicely and properly is it clear so till my next video children i want you, uh, i want you all to complete your work by today itself okay and make sure that you write everything in a very clean and neat handwriting is it clear children leave spaces how i have uh, left the spaces and after every word there should be one line uh, one finger space okay so till my next video children bye bye take care stay at home and stay safe